Hi, this is Vicky with Condi Systems Technical Support, and I am in Corel Draw X6, and I'm going to show you how to create a drop sh shadow, uh, a simple method for creating drop shadows, uh, which is this uh, shadow box right here. You'll see a slight uh, grayed out area that uh, uh, is behind this box, and it's a real neat uh, creative way of, of adding dimension to objects in, within your graphic. So uh, I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. And to do that, uh, first off, we're going to draw a shape on the page. We can choose any shape over here just for fun. We Maybe we could choose something else. Um, let's just do a eclipse here. And to draw a perfect circle, um, what we want to do, and you can see my eclipse tool has uh, got this box around it. I know it's selected. Also I can see my crosshairs on the page with the circle to the bottom right. Um, now I'm going to hold my left mouse key down and kind of and hold a control key to get a perfect circle. Uh, I'm just going to drag and then release my mouse and then my control key. So that's how you draw a uh, perfect circle. Um, and you can see up here that uh, the angles and uh, the length and width is exactly the same by using the control key. Um, now that I have a circle there, I'm going to add some color. So I'm just going to click on a box and uh, add some color. Uh, and then I'm going to get rid of this stroke and I'm going to right click up here and that'll get rid of the stroke. Um, and then I'm going to come over here and um, with my object selected, which is my new circle, and I'm going to click on this tool here that says drop shadow uh, drop shadow tool okay and if I click it it highlights and now I'm ready to uh, apply a drop shadow to this box and so I'm just going to click uh, somewhere within this circle usually about the center and uh, kind of drag out and as you can see that circle that outline that's leaving it's um, it's following me uh, or following my arrow you can see that pulling out and that's letting you know how far you are out uh, with using your shadow and so I'm just going to release and you can see the shadow has been added and to make this uh, a darker shadow or a lighter shadow as you you can use this little level tool here you see that line there that little bar if you hover over it and hold your left mouse key you can make the shadow darker or lighter. Okay. Now, if we don't want to extend so far out, we can grab this box and just kind of shift it inward. And you can see the shadow behind it gets a gets a smaller um, gets it, it gets smaller, so it's not out so far. And that's how you add dimension to your objects um, within Corel Draw. Um, lighter, darker, using this bar you can go darker, slide your level, or using this um, to add dimension. So you can go as far out as you want. So again, that's how you do that. And uh, to uh, release this line here, we just go up here and choose our pick tool and that lets it go and now you can see that we've completed um, adding the shadow behind this circle here and that's how you do it so if you have any questions and uh, concerns or comments that you want to add feel free to give me a call here at Condi my name is Vicki and as always thank you for your time